So this horror movie that Barack and Michelle are producing to make a tidy buck over on Netflix could actually come true. Let that sink in. I mean, this is one of the scariest things I think we face. And it's something that nobody is talking about. I don't even know if this will get through. A quick reminder, everybody, do make sure that you subscribe to this program if you haven't, because I don't even know if this will totally get through, because this is not something that people like to talk about. It's obviously scary stuff, and I don't mean to be overly alarmist, but if they got first strike capability and we don't, then what the heck is going on? You couple that with, again, Washington Post report, which tells us that a utility in Hawaii, a West Coast port and a pipeline are among the victims in just the past year that we have two dozen critical entities over the past year that have been hacked by the China People's Liberation Army. That spells trouble to me. And don't sit there and tell me, Biden administration, that it's China's fault. No, China's a realist player. So just like their guy in their information warfare textbook was saying, hey, we need to get ahead of this before they actually succeeded in doing so, we need to too. If it takes Michelle and Barack with their Netflix blockbuster to bring that home, I guess so be it. This is a big, big, big deal. Like this is scary stuff. I mean, I'm kind of I'm kind of scared by it. I've been scared for a while about it. And I'll tell you, if you do some reading on this, you'll definitely be scared about this. I want to share with you, first of all, one thing that Congress reported on back in 2016. Congress was warned by its own EMP commission, Electromagnetic Pulse, that an attack, like one of these grid things, could, quote, shut down the U.S. electrical power grid for an indefinite period, leading to the death within a year of up to 90% of all Americans due to looting, a lack of food and water, as well as desperation attacks. This was a report you see by Dr. Peter Vincent Pry. I've talked to him, and Dr. Pry has made the point that no one seems to care. It's like, you know, he, he sounded the alarm, he sounded the alarm. He did actually, incidentally, he told me Donald Trump did care, and he was one of the few people that had actually asked him about this and wanted more information. But for the most part, you know, these politicians, like, they're not, they're not thinking ahead, right? Like, it's all the here and now. China's got their 100-year plan, and, and we got, like, maybe next week. So let me share with you something from Dr. Peter Vincent Pry's report. This is one that he came out with actually in July 2017. He's describing what it would actually be if we were dealing with an EMP attack because one of these grids went down or multiple grids went down. This is the fear because you know what? This happens, I'm telling you, it's game over. Like that's World War III and we just lost. And according to most military experts, China, including, by the way, Pry, it's not military, but he's an EMP expert, but they would tell you China already has the upper hand. China has first strike capability, and that's just terrifying. 